day one, travel day. I guess the uh, the shuttle company figured out my racket. What I was doing was I was getting a a van, a private van, and because uh, the private van's like 75 bucks for me, just me. It's like six passenger private van, 75 bucks. Um, the sedan, if you wanted the sedan, that was a hundred dollars. And at some point, I guess somebody figured out, hey, why are we, why are we sending vans to pick up these these individual persons? Uh, why don't we just lower the price of our of our sedans? So basically, that's what's been happening. I keep booking vans because it's seventy five dollars, and they keep sending SUVs and and sedans because they only seat two people or four people. Uh, it's a in the end, it's a savings for them, right? Because they'd rather have their vans involved with the shared service slash the large parties where they get tipped higher and et cetera, et cetera. So they've been sending sedans for me. Good deal. Good racket I got going. Bit of a tip, depending on the time that your uh, flight is and what time of day it is, it's a lot easier to drive up to arrivals and uh, and go upstairs because I'm just taking the escalator upstairs to departure. That way, you don't have to worry about massive traffic. So check this out when I get up here. So there's like no cars here. What's this? Tons of traffic. So much traffic in the departures in the morning. So just just go straight. Just go straight to departure. Uh, arrival. So I got. My flight just got changed to a different uh, gate. It was supposed to be 61 in Terminal 6. Now it's 49 in Terminal 4. Same flight, just uh, got to move to a different gate. Kind of makes me feel like I uh, should travel with a skateboard nowadays. Never had this problem before. Strictly rocker. Somewhere above Ohio right now, the gate attendants took my bags and checked them because, I, I don't know, they fit in the overhead but this flight's so busy, my peon status on American, they took my bag. Rental car check time. Make sure this thing ain't jacked up. That <laughs> is satellite radio and it's got chip tunes. <laughs> Okay, so always, always do that with your camera, your phone, whatever. Uh, go and check that your, uh, what the hell, who do, still does seatbelts like this? <sighs> ah, I hate these seatbelts. Let's find the sketch parking for double tree. Jesus Christ. Crap, I'm on the third floor. Okay. Hotel room. Double tree cookies. How do we turn the lights on in this place? I, don't, I hate going around and flipping switches. Ugh. Oh well. What is the view? Look at this view. Cool. Wow. Nice view, guys. I had a weird little event that took place right now. So, where's the best lighting? Look at this. Oh, wow. So, that parking structure is behind the double tree. You have to go through an alley to get there. And when I pulled in, there were signs all over the place that said, elevator's broken. You saw the elevator was broken. So, I went downstairs and it spits you out in an alley, not the alley that I went down. And I started going down the street and a homeless man started yelling at me. I didn't understand what he was saying. 
I start immediately walking in the opposite direction because there's like two other guys with him. And I'm like, oh, dude, this is not good. I'm like, a, I'm like 100 feet away from these guys and they're yelling at me when I come out the door and I'm dragging my bag. I, I gotta be honest, I got a little scared. So I start walking the opposite direction. I'm pretending like I didn't hear anything. And he says, no, double tree, double tree. I'm staying at the double tree. And I was like, yeah, well, I'm sorry. We, you know, I try to play it off not very well. Yeah, stay in the double tree. Is that is that that way? And he's like, Yeah, yeah. Sorry, man. Just yeah, it's this way. So I start going, and he starts coming across the street. I'm like, All right, here we go. And he's like, Yeah, you know, sorry about that. He's like, Can you help a guy out? Except blah blah blah. And you know, I was like, Okay, sure. I, I didn't know where I was going anyway, but that was a little sketch. I don't have to talk to the front desk and figure out how I avoid the whole alleyway thing because we're talking like you, you go from this. You go from this amazing scene right here, right? Like, I, I don't, let me see if I can get over to it. I think the, the clock tower is like right over there. Just great little corner. And like down here, are some cool little restaurants. Uh, just cool spot. But then I'm like, <laughs> Right in the alley is just straight up homeless people chilling, which I know is not odd. I don't live in these areas though guys, so you gotta give me that. Alright, so here's my dinner location. Check out this chandelier. Isn't that cool? Cool chandelier. There you are, sir. All right, I've got a bit of a problem. It is about 10.30. Usually I'm in bed by 10.30 on the first night that I get into a place, but I got here kind of late. I didn't eat early. Um, so now I have to at least unpack one outfit and get my stuff ready for tomorrow morning, which I haven't even, my bag is still sitting over there. Not good, guys. All right, I'm gonna end it tonight. I gotta go to bed, I gotta do all the stuff, so that's it. I'll talk to you guys tomorrow. See ya.